just uh, yeah. my name is Ife Kambo. Okay, um, how may I help you? I don't know you. Um, you said you needed a barber, so my boss sent me. I don't understand. I mean, what happened to my usual barber? What, what happened to James? You said you were in a history meeting. Of course I am. That's why I've been waiting for James all this long time. What, they sent you? Is that a problem? Of course it is. Come on, take a look at yourself. What's wrong? Is it because I'm a woman? No, not just because you're a woman, but hey, look at yourself. And tell them I'm very, 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 very disappointed in them. Why would they send you instead of my barber? I mean, you should go and find a job as a model or something. Barbers, I don't know if you want to be a barber. Come on. Look, I'm sorry I was rude to you this morning. I'm not like... Are you... Are you crying? <laughs> what happened? I've been fired. Fired? Why? I've not been at my best lately. Oh my God. Look, I hope I, I, I didn't add to your trouble. Where are you going? Can I, can I give you a lift? <laughs> okay. Please just, just, just come inside. I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you for the movie treats. Mm. Did you enjoy it? It was 100% entertaining. Ah, it was 100% entertaining. <laughs> you see? You see what I bring on the board? What? No, you see what I bring to the table? Please, please, please don't go there. You should listen to me. The last time you picked a movie, it was so horrible, you couldn't even watch it. But you know the title was misleading, right? It's none of my business. You picked it. I, I don't care. <laughs> but the title was misleading. You can agree to that. And so because of the title, you misled me. Mm. <laughs> but you enjoyed it. You know, meeting you was not so much a bad idea. I mean, in front of my door and uh, I, I came to cut your hair and... Uh, <laughs> 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 you tried to cut my neck. <laughs> Thank God you didn't let me cut your head. <laughs> I'm so glad I met you. I feel the same way too. You are so sweet. Come on. I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah, definitely. Come here. Come here. It's just... Uh, <laughs> okay, you don't rush to kiss me like that. Take your time. Hmm? Hmm? Stop. So you don't want to kiss me again. You don't kiss me again. I mean, my lips are precious. Anyway, I mean, I know you want to kiss me. So if you don't want... No problem. So, how is the estate project coming up? Fantastic. I mean, it's really, really great. Yeah. I think it's my best project so far. <laughs> it's because of you. I mean, you br you've brought me a lot of luck. <laughs> you flatter me. Oh, come on. I'm just saying the truth. I mean, <laughs> you've brought me a lot of luck, I have to say it. You know, I've, 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 been, I've been thinking, thinking about you. What's your thoughts about family? I mean, what, what kind of family do you want to have? Mm, I love um, a peaceful and a loving home. Hmm. 
care to elucidate? Like, I want a family where the parents are loving, caring, peaceful, understanding and kind. Mm, parents? Yeah. Since you must love kids, right? Yeah, I love kids. You know, I grew up as an only child. I remember turning our pillows to imaginary siblings. It wasn't funny. Wow. And I would love to have a lot of kids. Because growing up as an only child, I did not enjoy that. Not cool. at all. Now for me, I can't relate. Not at all. Because my mother had a whole lot of us. So wow. I don't know why she was like to be an only child. You must be lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think I should uh, treat you to dinner. Let's go out and eat. Well, I like that. Where are mm -hmm. you taking me to? It's a surprise. God, I already got it in my head. I got that covered. Yeah. All you need to do is to go upstairs, wear some really hot dress and uh, let me treat you to a good dinner. I can't wait. <laughs> Now that we are done with honeymoon, I think it's time you, you focus on the salon business. You should start the salon business you always wanted to start. At least you're done with your training now. You know, I need to get a location for that. Mm -hmm. And you're going to spend a lot of money putting that together. Don't you believe in me? Don't you know who you're married to? Mm -hmm. I'll take care of it. Don't worry, baby. I'll pay for everything. Oh, baby. What? You've done enough for me already. And I should do more for you. Huh? <laughs> you know you sponsored me to the best styling school in this town. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and at least uh, I should complete what I started. And uh, I'm just grateful that you're no longer going to have clippers to work with. <laughs> because I don't... <laughs> I can't imagine a sexy woman like you standing in front of somebody trying to bob the hair. What's that? <laughs> You're funny. You know, that, that's, that's, you have better things that, to do that's funny. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Come here. So, from the test we conducted, the result shows that you both are very healthy. Oh, thank <laughs> God. Yeah, thank God. Oh. But. But what? Mrs. Mrs. Chico. We need to reconduct the fertility test just to be sure you both are both fit for childbirth. This is madness. How many tests do we have to undergo? All these tests. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Just uh, easy. Yes. Please calm down. Okay? We just need a secondary evaluation. Just in case there's something we, we... I mean, there might be something we missed out. You never can tell. Doctor, to be honest, I'm beginning to think you don't know your work. If you're incapable of handling our case, just let us know. It's better we find another expert. My days. You need to calm down, Mrs. Chuko. I mean, this is... It's just necessary now. Uh, uh, doctor. Yes. Um... Thank you. We will go and get ready for the test, okay? Thank you very much, baby. Look, uh, let's go. Everything is going to be fine, all right? So, to produce a child, one has to undergo a million tests. Baby, it's okay. This is definitely going to be the last test we do, okay? Come on, let's go. I'm tired of all these tests. I'm tired. Oh, it's tired. Come on, let's go. Okay, Doctor, we'll see you soon. All right, thank you. Have a nice day. you can do is make yourself useful. But hey, uh, babe, I've just been 
All day busy fixing the furniture. That's... Oh, that's on you. Because I told you, let's get someone to sort it out. But no, you want to do it yourself. And that's your excuse to be lazing around. And for that, you will get fat. I got you your food. Thank you. And when did you get this? What's wrong? You don't like it? No. Just that it's... Must you complain? <laughs> Chibuke, must you complain about everything? It will do your favorite. I bought it. What's wrong? This is Ogbono, not a Wedu, and it's spoiled. Plus, a Wedu is not even my favorite. Well, there goes my efforts at trying to be a good wife. What does that even mean? It means that nothing. It means nothing. Where are you off to? I have an event. Tell her. Does, does it even occur to you that we're married? I mean, like, we're actually a couple here. You travel for weeks, months. Then you come back from work with this pot, food, and now you're off to God knows where again? You knew I was a career woman when you were getting married to me. Huh? You do know that my father has left his entire company to me. Huh? What's this all about? What's all this about? Talani, you don't cook. You don't even... When was the last time you slept in our matrimonial beds together? When did we cuddle? Gosh, Talani. <laughs> oh. What's, what's funny? I don't know. <laughs> this is what this is all about. Sex. Of course you know this is not even what it's about. I mean, we're married for crying out loud. We've never even for once in our life discussed our life as a couple. So you want me to cancel a very important meeting for my father's company to... to what, discuss? Or oh, no, 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 no. To make you feel alive with a woman's touch. You're so pathetic. <laughs> Talk to me, what? What is it? I, 
We cut off a job. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I don't understand. The doctor says I I have poor PCOS. That my womb is too weak to carry a child. I cannot give you a child. People will call me by it. No, 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 no. People will call hey, me by hey, hey, hey. Ife. Ife. Listen to me. We will get through this together, okay? Huh? I'm here for you. I love you. The doctor might, he might just be wrong. We'll find a way out of this. We'll find a solution and work this out. Okay? Please, sorry, sorry. I know how it feels, but stop crying. I'm your husband. I'm here for I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll find a way. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. With you. Eh? Did I come here because of you? Mama, can I? Eh, will you leave those things alone? Leave them alone! What, I what have I done? Mechionoge! Shut up! I can see that you are obviously good for nothing. I expected, as I came in here, to see this tummy bulging out. But mba, nothing is there. Barren woman. Mwanyaga! Shame on you. Hey, the only thing you know about is to go from one supermarket to the other to buy perfumes. Are you not supposed to be smelling pregnancy, fresh pregnancy? <laughs> Barry woman, <laughs> you are crying. Crocodile, don't let that cry, that cry, the crocodile tears for me. Oh, every time you keep on disturbing my son, turning the mattresses upside down, destroying them. I'm tearing all the whole bed sheets. Anyway, I am here now. It is me that you hold those your two legs. Will surely shame my enemies. Mama. It will shame my enemies. Mama. This is not the woman you will end up your life with. Except if I don't have a living God. If I'm not serving a living father. Hey! This witch, barren woman. Look at what you have done to my son. Look at what you have done to my son. Hey. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Except if I'm not serving a living God. Hey. Come on, do one that's in my son's life, God. That person that just passed now. Ife! Ife! Mama! Come, 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 come! Somebody just passed now. I don't know. Somebody just passed through the window now. Are you sure? Yes. I 
Hi. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Uh, my name is Chibike. I'm your new neighbor. My ball fell into your compound and I came to pick it up. Oh, that's fine. But next time, just be careful. It could have landed on my glasses or my windscreen. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. Mama, it's our new neighbor. He's playing football. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. Okay, I will drop you off at the bus stop. Thank you, son. Okay. Let's but before on. I leave, I want to discuss something with you. I want to discuss about your wife. Okay. You didn't know. You see, all these city girls, you cannot predict what they have done with all their bodies. When I get back to the village, I am going to get you a very good wife. A good girl who is God-fearing from a reputable home. Who will give you children. Who will replace Ifekambo. Mama, that's not possible. I'm married. <laughs> Mama, I will miss you so much. Mm. Mm. Oh, I wish I can say the same about you. And you are on my way. Mm. Mama. Ma Mama, save Johnny. The drive safe, my love. We'll talk when I get back, okay? Is everything okay? Um, yeah, um, I, I'm okay. Um, are you sure? I mean, you are. You're crying. They are nothing. Oh. They are just tears of joy. I. I just recalled an old memory. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, since you're fine and okay, I guess I'll just take my leave then. What's the problem? Um, it's nothing really. Uh, it's just that I'm having this party at my place. It's a little get together and I'm going to be having friends come over. Not all guys though. And I was wondering if you would like to attend. Mm. I'm not interested. Nothing. Just that... Um I'm trying to stay away from any kind of gatherings for now. I get it. It's fine. Well, uh, have a good evening. Yeah, thank right. you. Hello, baby. Uh, honey, look, I, I can't make it home. The road is so flooded. I would just have to spend a night at a hotel. <sighs> okay. No problem, but but just be safe. Eh? I love you. I love you too. I'll see you tomorrow. Who's it? Come in. 
Come in, come in through. Hey, come in. Hi. Hi. Wow, I... I thought you said you were not going to make it. I... I changed my mind. Oh, okay. Um, come on in. Have your seat. What would you like me to offer you? Um... So, um... Where's everyone else? Well, you know, have you said? You know, it rained earlier. Flood everywhere, so... They decided to stay in their houses. Um, I think it's best I leave. No, no, you, you should stay. I mean, you, you're here already. We can watch movies, talk, get to know each other better. We can even talk about the reason you were crying the other day. I should leave. Hey, 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 hey please stay. Hey, nobody came for the party and you are here already. You came here for a reason. You call it a mistake? I call it fate. By the way, I make the best coffee. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I will stay. Yes. So, would you like me to get you the coffee? Mm. Ma'am? I don't take coffee. Okay. What else do you have? Uh, alcohol. Do you have food? Nope. But there's smudge ups. Come pass. <laughs> okay. Can you cook? Maybe. Mm. And I'm a chef. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> what can you cook? Maybe. Uh. No, no, I, I'm a good cook. Uh. Chef. Oh. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm a cut. <laughs> so, wait, 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 let me just help you. So, um, you're trying to tell me that you cannot slice onions? Well... Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> mm. that's the way you're doing there. Yeah. Well, I can make water, blah, 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 that shit. I'm sure you can make tea. <laughs> yeah, of course, indeed, that as well. Well, I have a good time. Do you know why short people argue a lot? No. Why? That's because they can't see the point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you are so silly. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> that, that was funny. <laughs> Rubbish. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What's I, I, wrong with you? I, I'm really sorry. I just thought maybe. You thought what? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. That I showed up for your failure of a party, cooked, and probably danced with you is a license for you to kiss me. I'm really sorry. I didn't see it that way. Trust me. I just thought maybe, you know. What rubbish? Is, it, is this what you do with people you just met? Ife, we did not just meet. Who did I judge? Ife, Ife, look, come on, look at me. We, we did not just meet. I am married. 
read. You, you what? Oh God! I can't see a ring on your finger. I, I'm I'm sorry, Ife. I'm I'm. Ife, wait. Just I am. How did you do yesterday? Ah, it was crazy. I um, dropped mom off at the bus stop and I went to work after work. I decided to come home. Uh, even wanted to stop by the supermarket, but the rain was so crazy before I could get to the Estin Junction. You know what happened. But uh, I'm sorry, I left you all by yourself. <laughs> I promise that will not happen again, okay? It's not your fault. It was the rain. Um, where's your ring? Oh, my ring. I took it off last night while I was doing the dishes and I forgot to put it back on. Okay, make sure you put it back on, okay? Yes, Because uh, that ring is, <laughs> is the only proof that you are all mine. Mm -hmm. All right? <laughs> uh, doorbell. Yeah. Okay, let me get the door. Okay. I'll be right back. was left at our door for you. I apologize for walking into your compound without permission. Your new neighbor, Chibike. When did our new neighbor look around our compound? It was a few days back. It was mother that alerted me of his presence. Oh. Okay. But um, the flowers, I mean, why is he bringing you flowers? He doesn't know that you're married. Hmm? He doesn't know that? Mm, I I want to talk to you about something. Okay. It's uh, something wrong. So, I spoke to my mom yesterday. Okay. She suggested we travel to see a strong spiritualist who might actually have a solution to our problems. Why are you telling me about this? Uh, you're not seriously considering that, right? Um, there's no harm in trying. It's not going to do us any harm. My wife would do no such thing. I'm not going to have you running around the bushes looking for a spiritualist. No. What exactly is your problem? What? I suggested we see a pastor, you said no. I suggested surrogacy, you said no. I suggested adoption, you said no. I suggested we see an expert abroad, you said no. What do you want us to do? What? Why are you talking like this? Like, how can you even say that? Why do you, why are you tr always trying to make yourself a barrier each time I'm trying to bring up something that will help our situation? Why? Because they are fruitless ideas that you will end up regretting. Just trying to save you.
what? Are you not following me? Uh, Are you now a stalker? I said I was sorry and you never forgave me. I already forgave you, come on. But you still don't pick my calls. What was that stunt you pulled? Bringing a flower to my house. I'm married for crying out loud. I was, I was just trying to apologize for the keys. Let's just forget about that. I already moved past that. Okay, what exactly is the problem here? Is it like you don't forgive or something? I mean, I never even knew you were married. I'm, I'm just trying to be a good friend here. I understand. I'm sorry I overreacted. But can we just forget about that? Can we just forget that that ever happened? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, would you like to get out of this place? I can get us a spot, we can talk and drink. <laughs> well, this is like my favorite spot. I always come here to think and clear my head. Ah. Yeah, that's why I always come here. Well, now I know where to find you. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> Come in. I'm coming. <laughs> Happy birthday, my oh. son. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> um. Oh my, you, you didn't tell me you were coming today. As long as you are the owner of this house, I can come here whenever I want, son. Okay, but uh, who is she? Uh, this is uh, Beatrice, Chief Okoro's daughter. That reputable headmaster. Happy birthday, sir. I wish you God's blessing, sir. My dear, he's already blessed since you are here. Yes, Mama. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Mama, why did she come with you? What is she doing here? My son, she has come to replace Ife Kambu, your barren wife. What? <laughs> <laughs> you see, Beatrice, eh, she is ready to do all the things that your barren wife cannot do for you. She is ready to give you children. Twins, triplets, quadruplets. Can, can you just stop? I've told you countless times, Mama. Stop evading my, my, my privacy. I've told you this before, Mama. Uh, okay. Mama, you can don't greet me, you this barren witch. Mama, mama just, just stop it. So, don't, don't insult let, my let wife. Let me talk, let me talk. Let me tell you, if you tell me because you have Uku Mama, just Beatrice. stop it now. Mama, come what, what, what come is come. this? See it, see it. See Uku bend like a... Hey, Ewa, 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 Ewa. Eh, 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 eh. Jelena, come and see the West. Hey, hey, hey. Where's the young man? Beatrice, I thought I told you to go and take your bath. Oh my Then why are you wearing this rubbish? Eh? Oh, Mama, I don't like it. But no, no. Eh? Bia, okay. Go inside that room. Go and change into that top and shirt that I bought for you. I want you to look like the city girl for your husband. Oh, but I want to let him see you. Oh, eh? Mama. Then, mm. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Ay, go and change Mama. for your husband. Mama. Change for him. <laughs> Yeah, when he sees you, he will know that yes, city girl has come. Oh, mm. Yano.
I brought something for you to drink. How is your day going, Mama? <laughs> hey! Bria, go and tell those people that ask you to come and poison me that you have failed. Mama, it's just a drink. Just a drink. Yeah. It's just a drink. Anyway, let's do first things first. Stop calling me mama. I am not your mother. My name is Egodi. Call me Egodi. Ah! Mama, why are you doing this? What am why? I do? What am I doing? Eh? Mama, it's only God that gives children. I and my husband are doing everything within our powers to give you a child. I am not blaming you. Just that you are a fellow man like my son. That is why as a good mother, I had to do what I did. By bringing him another wife that would give birth in another nine months. Mama, you know bringing that poor innocent girl here is only going to create false hope for her. You are going to ruin her heart by the time she eventually leaves. It's all right. Let us see who gets the false hope at last. Okay, Nana. Mama, I'm only respecting you. If not, I would have thrown her out of this house. Eh? Mama, come to think of it. With all this pressure you're mounting on me, how can I give you a child? How? How? Baby <laughs> Gambo, even at war, women still conceive. With all the gunshots, Oh, oh, oh. They still deliver children. So, what is the pressure? I'm asking you. Are you bringing pressure? War pressure? Or house pressure? Kitchen pressure? What kind of bush pressure? Yeah. Stop fooling yourself. Stop fooling yourself, oh! Continue to be ranting there. Remove this poison in my front before I kick it out. Remove it, Tossy, sir! So, your people ask you to come and kill me, eh? I see. From today, everything I'm going to eat and drink in this house, I will prepare them with my own hands. Hey! Actually, I'm going to That's good, that's good. I mean, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, it's not a problem at all. It's not a problem. Mm. Let me call you back. Ben! Ben! Ben!
Ouais, dans le moment. Can't you, can't you rest the bed in the living room before you go upstairs? No, I'll rest in the room. Mom. Mm, my son. Are you not going to ask how Ife is doing? She nearly died, Mama. What is killing her? Your pressure, Mama. Yes, your pressure. Because of your pressure, she went to buy some roadside liquid drug, all in the name of fertility drug, only because she wants to get pregnant to please you. She nearly died. I nearly lost her. If it wasn't for the fact that she took just a little of that drug, I would have lost my wife. My son, she should have died. It would have been better for you and I. Yes. If she had died, she would have given Beatrice, your wife, the second chance to come into the house and do her wifely duties and give me a very strong grandson. Mama, are, are you for real? I mean, I just told you my wife nearly died. And this is what you have to say. The truth is always bitter. That is it. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not talking to you about this anymore. It's fine. Wait. You are leaving me? Did I say anything wrong? Let her die. I need grandchildren. Eh? She's just like a firewood in the house. Not conceiving, not doing anything. And you say she should stay alive. She cannot stay alive. Oh. Because I'm wrong. I want to let Beatrice come inside and give me grandchildren. My back is itching to have grandchildren, to carry grandchildren. Can see? She die. She. Why didn't she take the drugs plenty? Why did she take small? Okay, Jude, I've heard you, but my wife is not enough. Yeah, I know, I know. She brings in the money, and that's fine. Oh, Jude, you know, as a man, I need other things more than money. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Jude. When I finally eat this meat, I am going to let you know. Yeah, I'm going to... I said I'm going to let you know whether it's sweet or not. It doesn't even matter whether it's sweet or not. I must milk this cow. Yeah, I must milk this cow. <laughs> Yeah, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Hmm. Hey. Mama, good evening. Mm -hmm. okay. Baby. You should have waited. I told you I'm making something special. I know, but you should come and sit down and taste this. This is so delicious. So, so delicious. But don't worry, you'll make my special dish. But I was so hungry, and Mama decided to make something for me to eat. And this or her is off the hook. <laughs> come here, babe. My son, you love it, eh? Mama, I love it. <laughs> it you know, it just reminds me of your food and how long it's been since I tasted your food. <laughs> Baby, you should come and sit down and try it. It's so delicious. Mm? There is more. Where this comes from? Mama, there's more? Yeah, it's my son. I just keep some for my wife. Baby, you should try it. It's, it's off the hook, baby. <laughs> All right? Mm. 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 We should be able to eat this food. <laughs> mm -hmm. This food was made by your wife, Beatrice. Excuse me? Beatrice cooked in my kitchen. Do you have a kitchen? Eh? When you were coming here, did you come with a kitchen? Eh? Beatrice came here with kitchen. Baby. Hey. Baby. You better come and eat your food though. Baby. Baby in shaker. Barren baby. Mm-hmm. Sure. 
Imagine yourself as a woman. Can you take this? You see that woman there. I love her. The only reason I'm taking her excess is because I see her point as a desperate woman who wants her son to have a child. But I am tired. I can't take this anymore. She has to stop. This has to stop. Baby, you are right. She's gone too far. But I want you to trust me. I'm handling things. They will leave soon. They have to leave today. Just trust me, I'm taking care of things. Please. They can't spend one more night here. They have to leave today. Before okay. I get back, they should leave this house. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> is... Is that my clothes you're putting on? Uh-uh. You can share, right? Eh? Beatrice here needs something to change. So I remember that you have lots of clothes in your wardrobe, so we decided to at least make use of some. Are you too mad or something? Uh-uh. In my son's house? You are putting on my clothes? Ah! What do you think you are doing? Eh? Ah? Mama, you be like saying you don't know me. You be like saying you don't know I don't crash for street before. Wait here! What is the meaning of all this? You, uh, uh, you two are leaving this house today. Uh, uh, you two are, you are still talking. You say they talk. You I'm cannot ask me to leave my house. You say they talk. You cannot tell me to leave my son's house. Okay, wait for me. You are still talking then. You are still talking. Why? 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 If I see you for this house again, I go mend. If I don't mend you with this boss, you will not stand up in his face. Look, I know you are angry, but did you kick my mother out of the house? I have not even started with her. If I ever see her in this house with that dirty village girl, I will burn them both down. Look, Ife, I want us to resolve this peacefully, please. Peacefully? They are out of the house. You know what? You go out there, you find my mother, and you bring her back to this house. Otherwise. Otherwise what? What? You think I don't know you've been sleeping with that girl? If not, why? Are you blind? Why would you be so blind to what is happening in this house? Why? If you go out there, bring my mother back to this house, otherwise you will not sleep in this house. That's fine. I will leave. I will leave. Make sure you bring my mother back to this house. Who's it? My mother-in-law brought in a village girl. As a maid? No, Chibike. As a wife. That's messed up. It's really messed up. And my husband asked me to choose to leave. Instead of asking his mother to leave. Well, I sent them out and I left. Oh, come on. This... You're going through a lot right now, and all you need is his support. I mean, how does he even... How does he expect you to feel? So 
Can I pause the night here? Of course, sure. Sure, I'll uh, make the guest room for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for being so nice. No, like I don't know. If only I can I can just give them a chance. Just one. I don't know. I'm am I not woman enough? Hey. You're more of a woman than any woman I've ever met in my life. You're more than enough. You heard that? You're more than enough. Baby, baby, where have you been? I, I, I've been sick, worried about you. Like you really care? Baby, I'm sorry. I was stupid. I, I'm sorry. Jude, I swear, say, I'm not even capping. The meat is sweet. Jude, you're not getting it. Nah, 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 nah. You're not getting it. Like I hit the freaking jackpot. Like, yo, 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 yo. No, of course, that's where I'm dying now. Dude, man, boy needs to maintain the baby boy lifestyle. I'm dying here, bro. I'm dying here. I'm milking the cow. I'm dying there. I'm dying with the cow. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like, I'm telling you. This unnecessary drama, okay? I mean, what happened between Nothing us? What happened between us? I caught you looking around my backyard. You apologized. That was it. Ife, huh. I'm in love with you. Just because we had sex, you think <laughs> you're in love with me? I can't stand. I can't believe I I brought myself so low by foolishly having sex with you. Breaking my marriage vows. I've liked you from the very first moment I set my eyes on you. And as wrong as it may sound, every atom of my body wants to be with you. I want to be close to you. I want to make love to you. If you I don't care about your imperfections. I love you. Chibike, you know, you had the biggest mistake of my life. You see this place? You see this whole place? I own it. And everyone here knows me as a married woman. Now you have to leave. Please. Just get out. Please. Chibike, please get out. It's fine. Get out! How can I be looking for my passport today of every other day? Babe, what yes, are babe, you looking babe, for? Babe, I'm looking for my passport. Oh. 
I don't know where I kept it. You left it, it under the bed. Oh, babe. <laughs> Okay, oh, that's fine, that's fine. I know, I know. You need to be Thank on your you. way right I know. You have a huge journey ahead of you, yes. so yeah. And you know, the France clients are not going to take it lightly with me mm. if I am late. Mm. To think that I'm actually not saying anything in the meeting, but just being present. Mm. <laughs> You're anything can wait there. Hmm? What are you doing? Why are you so nice to I'm me? I'm a nice person. I'm your husband. I'm always nice to you. Yeah, but you're always fighting with me whenever I'm traveling. So <laughs> why are you being nice? I am perfectly fine. You, on the other hand, have a huge journey ahead of you and you yes. can't relate for it. So right now, after you, ma'am, you look totally gorgeous, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> after you. I am. Um, I took some time off work. I thought to spend some time with my baby. But why are you doing like this now? Am I doing like what? Hmm? I caught the act. Or you think I don't know what you're up to? Whenever you take time off work like this, you only do it for your family. Not me. So now tell me, what's up? Uh, it's, it's my parents' anniversary in three weeks. Babe, please now. I just thought we could spend time together. It's in Dubai and I just wanted us to bond before then. I don't think I am going to be able to attend. Babe, of course you will. Of course I won't. Babe, you can't do this to me now. It's not as in, you have to help me save face. You know, every now and then you drag me to some billionaire's gathering while you treat me like a handbag, while you and I know that we're no longer in love. I mean, we don't even have kids, no plans of future together. You know, thinking about it now, I think we need to go on our separate ways. What? Yeah. Are you breaking up with me? Divorce. We've been married for 20 half years now. No kids. And we just stay together. We're like, what? Two grown adults living together. In fact, I actually stay alone while you go around traveling the world. Dubai, Paris, UK. Can you stop being like a child? Oh, of course I'm behaving like a child now because you are older. So Tolani, you actually need to stop defending yourself. See your flaws and change. Fast. I'm not the one that needs to change. You're the one that needs to change. I'm very sorry for everything that happened, and I am happy you're giving me a second chance. Chibi, I'm sorry. Maybe I felt guilty. And you know I'm a married woman, and what I'm doing with you is wrong. Maybe that was why I felt 
avoiding you will be better for us. And how long do you think you can avoid me for? No, come on, if I, no man will ever have something with you and regret it, and I don't regret it for a second. You mean a lot to me. It's better for us to be just friends. Let's take everything that happened as a main mistake. Yeah, friendship. Friendship, well, not good enough, but I guess friendship won't hurt, yeah? Thank you for understanding. Come on, smile for me. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> You're funny. No, that's the smile that drives me crazy. Oh, please. Hey. <laughs> oh. How do you feel now? I don't know. I I think it's something I ate. What do you care? Look, uh, I think we should uh, set an appointment with uh, Dr. Paul. Dr. Paul? Mm -hmm. You know I don't like him. But you have to see a doctor. Yeah. And I need to see a doctor. And I know who to see. Definitely not Dr. Paul. Helen, mm -hmm. I just needed to see you. At least my health is an excuse for us to see. <laughs> if you, you're not sick, you do not have allergy problems, you are pregnant. Pre you are pregnant. What? Yes. I'm pregnant. You are pregnant. You're eventually going to be a mother. And your husband is going to be so proud of you. Like I am proud of you already. Helen, please. No one must hear of this. No one. Okay. It just has to be between the both of us. I do like to be the first to tell my husband. Okay. Now, Helen, um, I would like for you to run a full check on me to make sure there is no complication whatsoever that might hinder me from having this baby. Okay, I need you to calm down. There's no problem. We'll do all that. I'm pregnant, Helen. You are pregnant. <sighs> Baby, I have a call. Baby, your phone is ringing. Never mind. See a friend. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be hanging out with the boys as well. All right. Yes, we're coming. to see Chibike. If I can be right? Yes, please. Come in, have a seat. Okay. Mm. 
Ife Campbell. Hmm. You're pretty. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I can see why my husband was engaging in an amorous affair with you. What? Who are you? Oh, my apologies. I am Chibike's wife. No. Chibike is not married. Chibike can't be married. No, no, it's not possible. I was the one who texted you this morning. What? I mean, I have a proposal for you. Something that can save you from the shame or the worries of how to explain to your husband why you are pregnant with a baby for your neighbor. I swear to God, I swear. I never knew he was married. I never knew Chibike was married. But, Chibike... but you knew you were married, so what's the difference? Look, I don't want to drag words with you. What I want from you is my husband's child. What? I don't understand you. I'm willing to compensate you wholesomely if you decide to have this baby and hand the baby over to me and move on with your life like none of this ever happened. No. I can't sell you my child. It's not possible. I can't. Well, technically, it's my husband's child. Or oh, would you rather you go and tell your husband that you are carrying my husband's child? Oh, your marriage will be over. But I am saving you from all this if you have that child and hand the child over to me. And we will go on with our lives smoothly like none of this ever happened. What? What is the need for you? Well, medically, I, I will take care of you. I will take you to one of the best hospitals in the U.S. I will pay you 10 million naira after you've given birth to the child and handed the child over to me. All this will be history before you know it. And move on with your life. wrong. I thought I said I was sorry. Jidenyan, we need to talk. Okay. Talk about what? Is, is something else wrong? What if there's a possibility that I can get pregnant and actually give you a child? Well, if you actually could, I would be the happiest man on earth. But we both know that that's not possible. I mean, the doctor said that you can't, right? What if the doctor is wrong? Baby, he's a professional. He knows exactly what he's doing. And we've tried, we've tried a number of times, we've tried still not working. I just don't want us to, you know, have this false hope and before we know it just comes crashing down on us. I honestly do not care what the doctor says. I wasn't born incomplete and I still have hope that one day I will give you a child. That's something that will make this family complete. Okay, it seems this off-work thing is really paying off. First time I'm coming to the house and you're telling me that you made food. <laughs> so, Lani. I'm coming. Yeah, of course. First time you're making food and now I have to wait for two hours to get a meal. Awesome. Anytime this year,
Good is ready. Finally. <laughs> okay, this smells nice. Mm -hmm. And it looks nice as well. How about you have a taste and let's see. Okay. But this tastes nice. I mean, almost like something that can be served in a restaurant. Come on. Insult me. Insult me all you want. But just so you know, I am a good woman. And a good woman knows that she should cook for her husband every once in a while. Okay, this is really good. You know, now I know there's a good woman inside you. You know, the Tolani I really married, not this person you've become. Mm -mm. Yeah. Look, what I am is a woman who wants to leave the biggest footprints on the sand of time. Mmm. Yes. That was good. But you also do know that you can totally get this food in any restaurant in Nigeria and serve it to me like you made it, huh? I know. It still wouldn't change my mind about you. Chibiki. Well, I know you. Talani, you don't even know your way around the kitchen. You don't even know where the knife is in the kitchen. You think this will deceive me? <laughs> it's really sad that no matter what I do, nothing is good enough for you. The food is nice. I like it. Mm. Babe. Babe, come and look at me now. See, um, I'm sorry for earlier, okay? I mean, we haven't done this in a while and I just felt maybe you were up to something bad. I'm sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You really hurt me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, baby. Baby, mm -hmm. I want to travel. What? What? Travel? Um, yeah. <laughs> what happened? Where do you want to go? I... I got accepted at a styling school in the United States. Okay, that's, that's great. But, uh... Have you thought about the, the cost? Have you made inquiries? Mm. It's an all expense paid trip. Hmm. Yeah. And it's not a big deal. It's just for one year. Before you know it, I'll be back. Now that we have kids that I'll be leaving behind. Oh, so, well, it's not a big deal because you don't have kids. So what about me? Am I not a big deal? No, I mean, seriously, am I not a big deal? Baby, you'll be fine. Ah. We both need this opportunity. It's a big one for the both of us. Well, true, true. I want you to grow. I want you to be bigger. And, and you know, we can, we can always talk on phone, video calls and all that. So you're not going to miss me too much. I'm not going to miss you too much. Who yeah. says that? <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know what? You know what? First of all, I'm going to address the issue of uh, the school. Yes, because it's a fantastic opportunity. And... Uh, I mean, it doesn't cost anything much. I'm going to give my approval. But when you start to talk about the fact that uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not a big deal that, you know, you, can, you just go for one year, one year, one year be beans. <laughs> eh? oh, it's one year beans. I'll miss you too. Thank you so much. Hmm. Thank you for accepting. I'm so happy. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm. All right. Still thinking about it. So what are you doing? Ife, 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 hold on, hold, Ife, just slow down a bit, Ife, what's up, I've, I've been trying to call you all the way from the gate, huh? I've not been able to get to you for weeks now, I tried your numbers, all switched over, I even went to your office and you were not there, what's up? Chibike, yeah? I'm on the verge of losing my mind, what, what? the next time you come close to me, I will rip off your eyeballs, what, wait, 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 what, why, what did I do? Why? Yeah, why? Maybe 
because I am married. Maybe because he's a stupid freaking bastard man who forgot to mention that he's freaking married. Now get off my sight. Okay, wait, wait. wait. I'm glad you kept your arrangement. Where am I traveling? Next weekend, I will tell Chibuke I'm pregnant later today and then um, tell him my intentions to travel for a year. You and I will board the same plane to the US. That way I can ensure that you're fine and you're safe. Okay. Here are your papers. Look, you're not only doing me a favor. In the long run, you realize how this is good for you, for your husband, and for your future children. Why are you smiling? Why shouldn't I be smiling? Oh, what's, what's it? What's it? The bus will pass. Come on. Mm. You two looks pregnant? Yes. What the? <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? Whoa! What? Okay, you know what? What? We need to talk to our baby up right now. <laughs> no, we need to increase the number of babies in there. Like now? Like now, right now. <laughs> like you! <laughs> Status. Mrs. Chuku, am I supposed to have an appointment with you today? You're asking me questions. Young man, you need to start explaining before I sue you. If that is not enough, I have seen my husband's medical condition. Please sit down, Mrs. Chuku. I am not here to sit. I need an explanation. You need to start talking. Hmm. All right. This is Chuko. Your husband has chronic medical issues with his spam count. Yes. We have done literally everything in our power. But it is very, very complicated, Mrs. Chuku. Coupled with the fact that he already had infections that have damaged a lot even before he came to us, Mrs. Chuku. Yes, we told him he, had, he has a 50-50% chance. But he knew it might actually affect his, the possibilities of him getting a wife, Mrs. Chuku. That's why when he met you, he told me to make you believe 
that you were the one with a medical condition. That you were the reason why, why you both cannot have children. I'm sorry. Junena, Junena lied to me. I don't understand. Why? Why didn't you just tell me the truth? Why? He didn't know you would want an impotent man. He didn't know. I mean... He pushed his blame on me. He made it my fault. I had to endure ridicule from his mother, friends and family. I even walked around as Ife Campbell, the childless woman. When he knew it was his fault, he was responsible and not me! Not me! Not me! Ife Campbell, not me! Not me! Please. Please take it easy, Mrs. Chuku. Please. You cannot blame a sinking man for trying to drag someone else down with him. I'm not trying to justify what your husband did. What he did was clearly on it was wrong and unjust. But I can assure you, your husband truly loves you. Yes, he loves you. No. No. Jidena never loved me. Jidena didn't love me. He did not love me. He knew how much I wanted a child. He knew. He saw me go through pains. He saw me suffer. He saw me. He saw me. I almost killed myself. What if I died? What if I died? Jeanette knew I wanted a family. I chose to break me this way. What do you mean you can't do it? I am paying for the trip. All you have to do is come, carry this baby, give me my child and get out. Tolani, I am sorry but I can't. It's complicated. You see, I'm telling my husband everything. Wait, wait, wait. What do I do then? What happens to me? Do, do I tell Chibike that what, I'm no longer pregnant? Or the test results were fake? <laughs> look, 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 look. If it can be, you can't do this. You cannot even try me. You can't try me, or else I will tell everybody, every single person that cares to listen, what a lying, cheating whore of a woman you are. Tolani, I am not selling my child. And I don't care who you tell. Yes, I don't care. Now listen, it will do you a whole lot of good to tell your husband that you cannot give him children. For the record, I never knew your husband was married in the first place. He didn't tell me. Now bye, I'm sorry. Bitch! What am I going to do? What am I going to do? How dare you, Chibike? What? How dare you do this to me? What was this about? What? I go out every day, toiling, every single day of the week to send money to you. And what do you do? You spend your time around town, sleeping with married women across town. You know what? I don't have time. Oh, no, 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 no. You, have, you better have time. You're this foolish man. You're so foolish. Don't you have any sense of decency? What are you talking about? Oh, what am I talking about? You're a bitch. You better go and ask her. Oh, guess what? You might not make it there alive because her husband might have killed you. What are you talking about? Ife Kambu, that's what I'm talking about. You cheated on me with Ife Kambu. Don't you have any self-respect? Don't you have any moral value in your life? And now she's pregnant. Oh, you know what I'm going to do to you, Chibike? I will deal with you. I, I will deal with you, I promise you. You had an infection that led to low sperm count and some other medical conditions, and you did not tell me. Answer me! Yes, I mean, 
yes, I, uh, I did, and I, uh, I, I was going to tell you, baby. I was going to say you, something. You, you are going to tell me, or you never intended to tell me. I did. I mean, I, I tried to some. It, I know it sounds stupid, but many years ago, I had an infection, and I didn't know I had an infection. It, 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 it stayed so long before I could treat it, and after I treated it, I thought it, 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 it had gone, but no, it stayed, it stayed, and it, it, it affected my, my, my scrotum, and it, it, it made me to have low sperm count. I, I, I wanted to tell you, I swear I wanted to tell you, but I didn't know how to say it because I loved you, and I, I, I love you so much, and I didn't want to lose you. It is so difficult to tell the woman you love that. You have low sperm count, especially when you know that she wants to have children. You lied to me. You saw Mama scold me. I tried myself to sleep every night and you could not rescue me. Do you know how many times I thought of suicide and you kept this to yourself? I'm sorry, I, I wanted to say it to you. I just didn't know how to. I tried. I thought that I, 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 I could have solved my issues, you know. I, I, I was going to get better before you even found out about it. That's why I didn't say anything. I'm, I'm sorry. No. You didn't tell me. You never told me because you didn't want me to leave you. You wanted me to bear the shame. You no. wanted it to be... You, you didn't want it to be your fault. You no. wanted me to take responsibility for our childlessness. No. You didn't want Mama to know that you are responsible for our childlessness. That is why you did not tell me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. For the record, I am pregnant. I am carrying another man's child. What? You heard me right. I'm pregnant. I'm going to leave you. You important liar. Don't you call me that. Don't you call me that. I love you. And I tried to give us a home. To make you happy. I know I, I, I behaved wrongly. I know I was stupid. But that doesn't give you the right to go outside and sleep with another man. Now you carry a bad son in your stomach. You love me. So you want me to remain childless for the rest of my life, eh? Because you love me. Jiden, I hate you. I despise you. I hate you. I hate you. I cannot do this right now. Mama put me through a lot of hell. I can't do this for the safety of the child. I can't. I'm leaving you. You are not going to raise another man's child. Another Watch man's me. child in my house. Watch me. You will not have that you. child in my house. Come back here. You will remove that thing. You will remove that thing. Are you listening to me? She knows. What, 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 what am I going to do? What am I going to do? My life, my life is over. My life is over. She knows. She's going to leave me. She's going to leave me. She knows what I'm going to do. I know I lied about my age. I just wanted to get married to you by all means. But you cheated. Despite everything I did for you. Providing everything you wanted. I think it's just best that I that I give you what you want. A divorce. I will be traveling for a bit and I do not want to see you when I get back.
house. Ah! You don't know my son. Why are you looking like this? What has that Barry witch done to you? Ife is not barren. She's not barren. She's never been barren. Never been barren. No. No, my son. No, from what? No, tell me it's not true. Be good now. Tell me, tell me it's not true. Effie. 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 Effie now, Effie, Effie, Effie. If you if you listen to me now, huh? If you listen to me now, if you. You see what you've cost. You don't know. You should have told me. You see what you've cost. You should have told her. You have killed me. I was managing my home until you came and scattered everything. You have killed me, Mama. Are you seriously going to do this? I just get out of my No, come on, you're carrying my child and you don't want to let me know. Come on, Ife. Chibike, I am a married woman. And the child is mine. Mine, I say. Ife. No, please, can you just, Ife, can you, hold can on, just hold get on, out hold of here, please? Hold on. You and I know that this child is mine as well. Come on, look at you. You have something good going on here. Mm -hmm. Huh? I mean, we, we're going to be fine. Yeah, we are going to be fine. <sighs> this is so ridiculous. You know, I was I was so carried away by my by my problems that I forgot to ask a young man like you why you're always available, doing nothing. Oh you think I don't know your goal? Your goal is to deceive married, vulnerable women and strip them of their money. Okay. Now you've got it from this time. Please get out. Get away from Ife. me. Please. Ife. Ife, it's, it's... Chibike, please get out. Ife. Ife, just just hear me out at least. Just hear what I'm saying. Just Ife. I don't know, Ma. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've lost everything. My wife was everything to me. I have come to discuss something with you. I am really disturbed. What is it, Ma? I want you to go and look for your wife. How do I do that, Mama? She's... She's pregnant for another person. I don't think she will want to come back to me. The man who's lied to her, deceived her. I don't think she wants to be with me, Mom. She is your wife, Jidenna. 
Whatever belongs to her belongs to you. Wow. In your culture, any man who is unable to give birth, with his permission, his wife can go and become pregnant by another man and give birth to a child for him. I don't understand, like, I've never heard that before, ma. We need her. We need her back if she can forgive us. Jitena, go and look for her. You need her. A woman can get married to another woman for her husband if she's unable to become pregnant. And that other woman will give birth to a child in the man's name. I know I have offended her. And I ask for her forgiveness. Please, son. Go. I look for her. Please. I just hope it's not too late, Mama. to love you and this child with all my heart. But please, please, don't leave me again. I beg you. And I promise I will never ever lie to you again. Okay? Never lie to you. I'm so sorry for breaking our marital vows. I'm so sorry, Chitenda. Please forgive me. I mean, I, I forgive you. Let's start over. Let's build our family again. Just build a beautiful family, a beautiful home together. Okay. You have to promise me something. Okay. That you must do everything within your past. We must do something about this, your condition. We must not accept the doctor's reports. We must win this fight. I promise. I promise. We have to do this together. Together. We must win this. We will win this together. Right?
Listen to the teachers. You hear me? You hear your mom? Baby? I cry out to you. Don't stress it. You hear me? You will not stress it. You will. Mm. Okay, take care of yourself. Okay, baby. It's all about choice here. Oh, 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 oh. The sun will cry and the moon will go down. The stars will fall, the world will come crashing down. From my eyes, if I'm not with you, my love. If you leave me here, my world will end today. If you leave me here, no need to leave again. If you leave me here, my world will end today. You cannot love nobody else but you. Yeah. 